Hi, my name is Dr. Saad Nasir, and I'm a medical oncology trainee at the Akhan University Hospital, Pakistan. I'm here at ASCO 2024 to present my abstract in which we have compared the efficacy and safety profiles of the conventional pegfilgastrim with its biosimilar agents. So initially, filgastrim was the originator compound to you, which was used to prevent chemotherapy-induced neutropenia. And then we moved on to a single dosing agent, Pegfilgastrim. Now, since 2011, we have started doing studies where we are now using biosimilar compounds of Pegfilgastrim. These compounds are available throughout the world and are, they provide a cost-effective approach in preventing chemotherapy-induced neutropenia. Now, what we did, we asked this question whether can we move on from conventional Pegfilgastrim uh, is there enough evidence to support this? We included 10 randomized clinical trials in our meta-analysis, and when we did a subgroup analysis to understand the efficacy of the biosimilar agents, we found out that one of the compound called the eflapegfilgastrim, it outperformed conventional pegfilgastrim in reducing days of severe neutropenia. The other thing that we looked at was safety and clinical profiles. And what we found out was the biosimilars are similar in efficacy. They're also similar in terms of safety profiles as well. We looked at bone pain as an adverse event, which is the most commonly found adverse event in these patients. In summary, what we recommend is to look at eflapectylgastrum for clinical outcomes in these patients and also do a cost analysis whether we can now move on from the conventional pegfilgastrim and provide patients opportunity for a cost-effective, efficacious, biosimilar of pegfilgastrim. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.